Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Photos Channel. Um, I have a special treat for everyone tonight. Ozark Ordnance, 147 grain, 300 blackout. Um, this is the first blackout ammo I purchased for my AAC MPW. It's an AR-15. Loads in 30 round, 10 round, 20 round magazines without any issue whatsoever. And I have some tonight I'll be able to show you. Um, but this is not what we are mainly talking about tonight. This came in the mail today. This is a special goodie sent to me from Tom over at Ozark Ammo. And it's to test out some of his, more of his 147 grain. Because this lot, eh, that's probably about a year old. A year and a half old from when I originally purchased it. So lots have changed in powder and um, who knows, could be different primers. Um, but we'll see. Traditional popcorn. I remember playing with that as kids. Oh. There's something new you don't see. This is not on their website. This is some of their prototype ammo. Nice. And then they graciously sent me a 25 round sample pack along with it. So, this is really what we're going to be what we're going to be testing out. This is a brand new round. And at first look, I swear it makes me laugh, but it looks like that, you know, somebody just took a, a you know, pair of snippets and clipped the end of the bullet off and weighed it 135 grain, called it a good day. But no, this is a brand new bullet. And when I say bullet, I'm talking about the projectile, not the cartridge. So, we're going to be shooting this on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving morning. Uh, I'll get that uploaded and get that out to you guys. So, if you are subscribed to my channel, you'll have first look. And if you're finding it later, this will probably already be in production. So, today's date is the 23rd of November. We we're finally getting some cooler weather. My knife is Sog Aegis. Yes, Aus 8, Teflon coated, very nice edge put on by my Japanese water stones. Assisted opening, love this knife. So we're gonna open up the box, take a look at our 147 grain ammo and our 135 grain ammo and see what we have. Take a look at these rounds and put them side by side with one another. And actually, I don't even have to cut open that new bag yet because I will show you a couple magazines I have loaded up. So this is Ozark Ammo, 147 grain. This is 125 grain loaded with TNT ammo. Now it's hard to tell until you get them side by side. That's more 125 grain. And my point in showing you all this is that when you look at these side by side, there's good 147 grain is a bit longer. And of course my 10 rounders, Barnes Tac TX. This is purchased Barnes Ammo, Barnes Brass, Sealed Primer, all the goodies. So we're gonna Pop a couple of these out. 
and let you guys see them side by side. That way you get kind of a good idea what we're looking at here. Forgive my slow camera work. I want everything to stay in focus. That's always been something important to me with my channel. So, on the left, add a little contrast to the black on black, you have the Barnes Tac TX. It's a 110 grain variety with a long plastic tip. Now that long tip helps with feeding for feed ramps in AR-15. Just a little bit more contrast there. You know, AR-15 magazines because really into a single shot rifle like a handy rifle um, for example you're not going to have that issue. Bolt action rifle you don't have to really worry about the length of the projectile as much as you do in the SAMI spec for AR-15s. The SAMI spec wanted to be able to feed reliably into the AR-15 platform and there's been no issue with that. Now you have a hand load, 125 grain TNT traveling at about 2278 feet per second. And I'm not going to give out my recipe on that just yet. That'll be a, another video. Now we have this 135 grain right here. Okay. And you'll actually see that the 135 grain, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, see if we can capture some of this. Okay. Is a little bit shorter than my 125 grain TNT round. Now the TNT is for varmint, but it's a match grade bullet. And mine are loaded to all the same length. So I could grab any one of my 125 grains and put it up, and it's going to be the exact same length. And I'm going to measure out all these 135 grains um, and be able to let you know exactly how long they are. Um, so if you have questions about how they're going to feed in an AR-15, um, I'm going to load them up in a 10-round magazine, and we're going to shoot them. And we're going to be able to take a look how they feed, I'm not going to edit that part. I'm going to show if there's any malfunctions. They're good to go, but I've been pretty much guaranteed that there are no malfunctions and these are going to feed beautifully. But keep in mind, as I have torn this open already, sorry about the blurriness there, this is prototype ammo. So, who knows? We're going to see what we're going to see here. I will have all the specs for you annotated so that you can be able to see exactly what you're looking at. Now we have 147 grain right next to it. And of course, any heavier weight bullets are going to be even longer, um, up to 220, 240 grain cast lead bullets, because there's casting lead bullets for 300 Blackout is very popular and very economical. Once you have all of your machines and all of your supplies, um, Guys joke around that it costs about three cents a round. <laughs> I don't care who you are, that's cheap ammo. Um, that's what I used to be able to buy 22 for when I was 18. Um, so 22 um, used to be about three cents a round. A brick was 20 bucks at Big Five for the good old Thunderbolt uh, Remington ammo that was so cheap that. I used to go planking with as a kid. So I'm um, enough down memory lane. We're going to back out here so that we can have a little bit more depth of field. Here's what the tip looks like. Okay. So that you can see this is not just clipped ammo. This is purposeful and how this is designed. You see there's slight indentations that are like upside down pyramids. They are completely uniform. Okay, they're completely uniform in their machining and they look fantastic. It does look odd. But it's new. 
and things that are new are typically we consider to be kind of peculiar. So here's what your head stamp looks like. And this is kind of typical. This is Lake City ammunition. Well, this is Lake City brass, I should say. Um, primers um, could vary. I did not um, ask what kind of primer they were using, if they were using a CCI uh, 450, 400. Um, but for reliability in an AR-15, you don't really want to use CCI 400s. Um, that's good bolt-action stuff, but not necessarily for an AR-15. Um, CCI 450s or Remington 7.5s, um, good stuff. So that's the 135 grain. So let me take out some barns out of my 10-round magazine, load a couple of these up, and I'll just show you here. See how this is just as long as a 5.56 in a regular AR-15 magazine, okay? This is a low, small capacity Magpul Gen 3 10 round mag. Yep, see? Standard 5.56 magazine. Now, 135 grain. You load her up. <laughs> Working around a tripod is always fun. We do everything in one take, so we'll put that one on the blooper reel. Killing me here. All right. So if we slide it all the way back, a little bit of a difference, okay? But not so much of a difference that this is going to create any fitting issues. I do not see any issues with feeding out of this mag. Okay? Now the same exact same as it would feed in a 30 round mag. Um, I personally like shooting some 10 round mags for testing just be purely because it's lighter. I have measured 223, 556, 300 blackout in a variety of flavors. And guys, there just really isn't that much of a difference between a 5.56 and a 300 blackout in weight. Um, even in a full 30 round magazine, you're talking one ounce, okay? Big whoop. Um, but even still, I'm looking at it. I do my testing out of 10 rounders, um, unless I'm going to dump a mag. But honestly, at ammunition prices nowadays, I'm not going to dump a mag. Um, I will tell you that as of this date, Ozark Ordnance is selling 300 blackout ammunition for the lowest prices ever. So not just because we're heading into Thanksgiving and Black Friday, but I will give them credit where credit's due. Um, Ozark Ordnance has gone from expensive prices, and I will say expensive, um, for re remanufactured ammunition. Um, they were hovering around 70 cents a round, 66, 70 cents a round after shipping. Okay, about 20 bucks for 500 rounds or 40 bucks for a thousand. But keep in mind, when I got my thousand round box, it was heavy. Okay, um, I haven't purchased ammunition from them in the last few months, so I don't know what prices are for shipping um, but I will tell you that they are hovering right about 40 cents a round and if you buy a pallet even less ooh, yes they are not a mom-and-pop shop um, ozarkordnance.com www.ozarkordnance.com and you can buy ammunition for 40 cents a round for 300 blackout in 147 grain variety um, they're M80 pulls and what that means is they're broken down from a 308. Um, but I tell you, I've compared lengths and they're consistent. I mean, it's not, it's not like you're getting a mishmash of crappy bullets and that's why they're cheap because I've measured the price of these 147 grain pulls versus some brand new TNT. And I tell you what, they're about the same price if you're buying components. 
and if you want something that's going to feed reliably in an AR-15, 147, 150 grain varieties feed extremely well. 125 grains feed extremely well. Um, if you get down to your 110 varieties, you got to be a little careful, um, depending on the manufacturer. If it, they've bred it long enough to be able to reliably cycle in an AR-15 to come off the mag. Um, Barnes will do it just fine. I don't think anyone's really had issues with Hornady. They load their so hot that <laughs> there's no trouble getting the bolt back there. Um, but you're also going to find, um, you know, that some manufacturers, if they're using um, some round nose 110 grain bullets, they may not feed reliably in an AR-15. They're just not long enough. Um, you know, 300 blackout, uh, for those who are new, it's pretty much getting like 30-30 ammunition in an AR-15 platform. The only difference is you're getting cutting edge technology um, with expansion. Um, you know, traditionally in 300 blackout, people go to this 110 barns because, well, it's darn hard to find anything that performs better, to be perfectly honest. Um, but there are new companies out there that are seeking to do so. Um, just doing it a little bit different platform, a little bit different um, thought process on how to get it done. I've seen some ballistic gel testing, which I will link to in the description, to be able to see what this round looks like in a gel block. Ozark, right, and Ozark Ordnance did it, and I'll tell you what, it was pretty impressive. I was very impressed, and um, by the look of it, I would have no issue taking this hunting. Whether you're looking at deer or hog, those are usually two big animals that people are hunting. Uh, whether you're going to have some fun with some coyotes or um, any pests that you might have on your property, um, you can pretty much figure that this round is going to get the job done, no problem. Um, this video is going to continue. Um, next part, we're going to be in field testing. Um, we're going to do some distance testing. I'm going to show you my ballistics calculator on getting some of my information in there. And we're going to go ahead and see how accurate it measures up with compared with my zero. So I only have 10 rounds of this. So we're not going to be able to do tons of fun stuff with it. It just means that I'm going to have to be like everyone else and purchase my next set and uh, maybe we'll have some more fun with that depending on how this goes I may add this to my collection of 300 blackout ammunition so every every job might have a specific tool to get the job done and you know this is very promising I from what I've seen so far of it um, there as of right now there are no videos on this except from Ozark ordinance they sent out ammunition to 300blacktalk.com and to members of the forum to be able to test and kind of just say how it's going. Um, there's been some controversy and uh, on different board forums about Ozark Ordnance. Um, but I tell you what, my only gripe with the Ozark Ordnance in the past was the price I paid for ammunition. Okay. That was at a time. No one has a crystal ball to see what's going to happen in the future. And, you know, I wanted to be able to feed my need. And at that time, I had no reloading equipment whatsoever. And, you know, let's face it. You look at other manufacturers out there, they had no ammunition. And the ammunition that was out was a buck around. Okay. And when I say a buck around, or more, we're talking about, and I'll just say it, garbage ammunition, okay? And when I say garbage, it's just, you don't know what you're gonna get. You don't know if it's gonna feed reliably, and that's why I'm here to tell you that Ozark Ordnance ammo that I've seen, and this is my personal experience, I have had zero failures in my AAC 16-inch MPW. Um, zero failures. So I am, critical when there's a screw up, okay? I've opened up a Winchester white box ammunition I bought from Walmart and picked out a 10 millimeter. 
Um, Walmart and, and uh, Winchester got an earful from me about that. So um, when I opened up a box of 40 ammunition and picked out a 10 millimeter loaded round, um, one of the things, um, everything's 147 grain. There's actually a couple extra in my last two, um, two 150 round bags. There was like five extra bullets in each one so that you're not getting shorted. I counted them out. I have them loaded up. You know, I've shot them out of um, Troy battle mags. I've shot them out of Gen 2, Gen 3 uh, P mags. I've shot them out of GI mags and I, I've had zero issues with these. I know a lot. there's a lot of hearsay on the internet about having to get like modified magazines that are going to reliably feed any 300 blackout mag. You need a specific mag for it. Nope. Not the case. This is not 6.8. This is not 308. Um, this is not anything different. This is all you need for a reliable rifle. If you did your job right in building your rifle, you researched the company that you bought your barrel from, and you didn't screw that up, then generally everything should work. If you got a good bolt, you got a good mag, you got a good barrel, you should be able to put a rifle together without any issues. But if you bought a $49 barrel off of eBay or Amazon or Craigslist, and you're not really sure who the manufacturer is, well, good luck. I've, ta I've talked to many gunsmiths where they've tried just taking flash hiders off and screwed the barrel extension off. <laughs> there are junk companies out there making things that are not within spec. So it's important that 300 Blackout's a SAMI spec round, that you're getting SAMI spec ammunition, so that you're going to go out to the range, go out in the field, and wherever you are going to enjoy shooting, and this is going to work every time you pull the trigger. So I can, I feel very confident that Ozark ammo is going to work every time I pull the trigger. Um, that's not because they sent me 35 rounds of ammo and I'm smooching their rear ends. That's not the case here. Um, that's been my experience over the year and a half, two years that I've been shooting 300 blackout. All right, guys, I'm going to quit talking your ear off, and we're going to get out in the field in a couple days and go shoot this stuff. I'm going to shoot some, you're going to see me shoot a bunch of 147 grain, and we're also going to go shoot this new 135 grain ammunition for your enjoyment and your entertainment, as well as your education. Any questions you specifically have, please don't hesitate to put those in the comments. I will check com comments. Um, you want to criticize me? Go ahead. Keep it clean. This is a family channel. Um, I want anyone who's interested to be able to um, research this ammo and to be able to have a good time doing so and not worry about their 10-year-old and being able to see the things that they read. Uh, we also have um, some more things coming up. I have lots of videos that I'm waiting to upload. so. Um, we're going to start to be a lot more active in the channel and relax, kick back, enjoy yourself, and have a good time. Just make sure that in all your endeavors, whatever you do, always bring your A-game. Take care.